I'm going to change the fuel filters on my 2022 Ram 3500 Cummins high output docks diesel fuel filters. Did was uh, after putting the truck up on the ramps. Go under here, put a piece of uh, half inch PVC electrical conduit over the rubber tube, the plastic tube that comes off the front filter and right into a diesel jug. So there'll be absolutely no spilling when I open the uh, drain valve. There's the filter housing and there's the yellow drain valve, which you open counterclockwise a quarter turn and let it drain out. I'll reach down in there. I'll reach down in there now and open that valve. There, that's open. I can hear it draining into the can. Got a 28 millimeter socket. I've got a 12 inch and a six inch uh, extension, half inch drive. I've put the universal and 28 millimeter socket on top of the cap. Now I'll feed this down through and connect it up. There, she's in. And now I just gotta um, turn the cap counterclockwise, loosen her up. I'm gonna let some more oil drain out first. Now that I loosened her up, just gonna reach in and unscrew the cap. Get this O-ring off, which is right here. I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver for that. I've got the filter pulled out most of the way, just leaving it sitting in there a little bit on an angle to let the fuel drain down. And uh, then we'll pull her out. tight in here, but I got it out with absolutely no spillage. And this filter has about 12,000 miles on it, not even dirty. This is the new Dox filter front filter and new O-ring. Going to lubricate that o-ring with a little bit of fuel and make sure it's seated down on that cartridge or that canister there's the new dox diesel filter installed it is tight in here and i'll warn you be careful of this sharp edge right here because i am all cut up next time i'll have to put something over that uh, don't forget to turn that little valve off down there that petcock Otherwise, you're going to have a mess when you start her up. Make sure that O-ring is lubricated and seated all the way around. And now we're going to put the lid on. Front filter is done. Took me 10 minutes. I highly recommend putting that PVC over that plastic tube into a container. Because I absolutely had not one drop of fuel drip. Okay, moving on to the back filter. There it is, up located just over the drive shaft inboard of the uh, fuel tank. I'm going to attach a piece of 3 8 hose to the little drain nipple and run it into my container so we don't get fuel everywhere. Because I see videos of people just letting her go and it hits the drive shaft and splatters everywhere. So I'm going to do it a little smarter. All right, a piece of clear 3 8 vinyl tubing fits right over the nipple. And 
run it into my container. And I'm going to open up that petcock and let her drain out for a bit. All right, just got to open that petcock up with an 8 millimeter socket. And uh, loosen her up and let the fuel come out. There it goes. A little bit of a drip there. I brought some diapers so we don't make a mess because I think some fuel's gonna come out of this from what I've seen on videos. I'm gonna open this up. So we'll stick a diaper right up here over the drive shaft. Let it catch anything. Open this up some more again. Draining out nice, right into my container. I think I lost two drops. Then we're gonna take the lid off with the same 28 millimeter wrench and pull the filter out. So a lot of fuel does come out of this when you take the cap off. So I tightened her back up when I saw it starting to come out. I did have diapers under it, so I didn't make any mess. I uh, went and got, you can't, can't really get a bucket up under there between the uh, exhaust and the drive shaft. So I got a regular uh, oil drain tub for a car, stuck it up there, caught all the fuel oil coming out, and then tipped it over into that little bucket. And I lost maybe 10 drops. So uh, just trying to stay clean and not make a mess in the garage. And... Um, Here's the cap. Got to take the O-ring off, put a new one on. The old filter with about 12,000 miles on it, not too bad. So just a pretty easy job. I highly recommend doing this yourself, saving some money. So I've got the new Dox Diesel fuel filter ready to go back in. This keyed uh, top wants to be parallel to the truck, not perpendicular like that wants to be parallel to the truck, parallel to the drive shaft. That's the way the keyway is in there. Snap it into the cap first. She snapped in, and then we'll put her up in there. Screw it on tight with that 28 millimeter. Now that you're all done changing your filters, uh, you just need to go in and prime your system, which is a matter of uh, hitting your button uh, for run, not accessory on run, without putting your foot on the brake. And wait for the gauges to do their circle thing and the bell to stop ringing and then shut her off. And do it again a couple more times, probably three times is enough. And this is the third time And this time I'm going to put my foot on the brake and hit the button. She should start right up. There we go. Fuel filter replacement complete with Doc's diesel fuel filters. Very easy job. First time I've done it. Took me less than an hour. Final step is to go in and hit your fuel filter reset. Which I'll scroll up on my menu, um, get to my fuel filter. I've already done it. Um, I forgot to video it, but I hit the reset. She's back up to 99%. It was down to 19% when I changed the filters. And as you saw, they were very clean. I could have let them go longer. That was after 12,000 miles. That's it.